Alright guys, welcome to the Blue Milk Show. Today I'm going to tell you, or show you basically, how to clean and refurnish your regular NES Nintendo system. Basically you just unscrew it, there's four screws, or six screws at the bottom, take it off. If you notice, i already done that. Just as you're doing this, kind of use the video as a guide as you're taking it apart. You can clean the entire thing inside and out. I mean, I didn't really do it. I only cleaned mainly the board itself and the 72 prong pin. Just as you're going through this, make sure you pay attention with all the screws, the wires, and everything you're going to put back to get back in there. Now, normally you should clean everything. This is just like a quick run through to show you how to get it apart and what you're doing. And if you had to replace anything in here, it's a good example to see how it comes apart. On that top metal case there that I'm taking off right now, that has six screws too. Don't mind my gray hair on the top of my head there. But as you're doing this, this just basically makes the game brand new for you again. Every game should work properly the way it was intended to work when you first bought the game. Just make sure, you know, stop blowing into your system because you blowing into your system, the moisture from your saliva and everything, it sticks to the game and it causes mold and stuff to grow on it, mildew, that little green shit that you've seen in my video before. Now as I'm going through this, all you really need is a Phillips head screwdriver to take this apart. Uh, you're going to need yourself a nice new toothbrush. My little cleaning solution, which is 50% water and 50% rubbing alcohol. Now when you're unplugging these wires on the side here, just always make sure the player 1 plug is in the front and player 2 plug <coughs> is in the side. You'll see it when I flip it over. Sorry, it's like, it's been a while since I took it apart, so I'm a little dumbified here. I'm confused. It's been a minute. Oh, look, I figured it out. There you go. You can use a screwdriver to help get the wires off. Me, just because I had the gloves on, it was kind of hard to get a, whole, a grip of the wires. But you really don't need a screwdriver to pull them off. And as you're going through this, do make sure you do not lose none of the screws. Very easily, you can lose them. They're all the same size screws on this whole motherboard here. There's only two, there's only one other size screw on there. You'll see it in a second when I start taking the rest of it apart. There's two silver screws, one on each side. Make sure they go back in the same place. Alright, when you're playing with this right here, that is your 72 prong pin. It's a little tight to come off, but it will come off. Now, if you ever need, if you can't get this to work after cleaning it, that's what you're going to need. You can find it on Amazon for about 9 dollars 
Right there I'm trying to show you but you can't really see it in the video uh, how dirty it is. Alright now what you want to do is you're going to take your solution and your toothbrush just basically spray the whole board down and give it a good scrubbing with the toothbrush. There's a lot of dust and everything on it. Okay, after that's done, basically, what up, after this, you're going to basically clean that now. Now, the best way I could tell you is you can find like a an ID, a card, something hard plastic, and a good cloth rag, one preferably that won't thread apart and get stuck inside. Spray it down really good with your solution here. Get it nice and soaked and then just scrub away use the toothbrush and everything alright just you know try not to be too rough with it Alright, once all that's done, basically what you gotta do now is really start to put together. Or, well, basically, I'll, right here, I'm gonna show you with the card. Okay, now it's time to start putting it back together. Everything's cleaned. It's a little tight to get it back on there, but it, you know, it will go back on there. I had to use some man strength there, that's why I pulled it away. Now I didn't clean the bottom out, normally you should. You can get one of those little aerosol spray cans that just blow the air out. Blow all the stuff out of the bottom. But I usually wipe all the metal down. Make sure you put this on before you uh, connect the wires. It snaps right back in there. And do remember that the player 2 is on the side and the player 1 is in the front of it when you're plugging it back in. And make sure you're plugging it in the right way because it looks like I was just plugging it in the wrong way there. Alright, when you're putting a cartridge, cartridge slide back on, this is a little tricky part. A lot of people do it wrong. You're going to slide it on, and at the bottom of it, there's a little lip. I'm going to show you right here. Make sure the lip is underneath the metal tray and all the way back before you place it back in there. If this is not, if this is not done right, It'll, it'll bow a little bit and the games won't go back in there right. And then while you're putting it back in all together, make sure the wires are not anywhere where the screws would go. Make sure they're all tucked in pretty good.
All right, guys. Uh, make sure you get all the screws in there. Get them in there pretty tight. They should be really tight when you put them back in there. After you put that tray on, the cover's next, and you're basically done for the day. All you got to do is clean the outside. Now, all you got to do for the outside is basically the same thing as you did inside. Basically, you're just going to use the so same solution as uh, you use for the inside, the 50% water and rubber and alcohol. Just spray it down, and then just, you can use one of those little scotch uh, scrub, little scrub, uh, scrub pads. And just scrub it real hard, and around the vent area, you can use a Q-tip or a toothpick. And in your ear. Uh, yeah, and you can put a Q-tip in your ear if you want as you're cleaning, but you don't have to. And your hiney. And that's basically it, guys. Watch to the end. You don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah. Until next time, may the force be with you.